Guys and welcome back to another video here on the Sean the Sheepman channel and today we're going to be following the IVF journey that me and my wife Stacey are going through so let's just get into the video guys Guys, that's us about to head back to the hospital. So Stacy's been doing her jags for the past six days, and I also ended up in A and E a few nights ago uh, when I cut my hand shearing and I had to get a few stitches. Guys, we're here today so Stacy can get a scan to see how things are going, and then they'll decide when they want to harvest the eggs. And then I'm here to produce a sample for testing as well. That's Stacey had her scan, so we're going to come back for another scan on Sunday and they'll decide then when they're going to do the egg collection. Now we're just waiting so that I can go and provide a sample for testing as well. So that is one of the more awkward experiences I've had, but that's it done now. And because the appointment time clashed with the time that Stacy gets her jags, we're going to have to do the jag here in the car park. <laughs> Let's have a quick recap of that appointment since I didn't get to film very much or explain very much while we were there. So Stacy basically got an ultrasound scan to check how the egg follicles were developing and then they would use that information to decide when they were going to collect those eggs. And what they seen, they decided it was best to come for another scan in two days time which is Sunday and then they will make another decision then whether they want to do the egg collection on possibly Tuesday or Wednesday. And I was also there to give a sperm sample for basically analysis purposes and then they'll use that to decide how they are going to implant the egg, whether they're going to allow them to fertilise naturally or whether they are going to pick certain sperm to implant into the egg. And... On the day of the egg collection, I'll give another sample, and that will be the sample that they use for the fertilization. It is now 8 a.m. on Sunday morning, and we're heading into the hospital to have another scan. So that's us out of that hospital appointment. Stacy had another scan, and basically they've had a look, and they've decided to do the egg retrieval on Tuesday. So Stacy has her... Uh, trigger injection and then on Tuesday we'll come back and the process of removing the eggs will begin. The appointment was fairly quick now we're just heading home and then the doctor will phone us in a little while and tell us exactly what time to take the trigger injection tonight and then we'll come back on Wednesday and obviously they'll begin collecting the eggs and we'll be in hospital for quite a while on Wednesday it'll be quite a long appointment uh, so We'll have that to look forward to. <laughs> it's now Tuesday and we're going in for the egg collection appointment. So it's about quarter past eight right now. So we're heading up to our appointment and then Stacey will go into theatre around quarter past ten. So that's us in the ward now, so the nurse has just checked us in and basically checked all Stacey's information. happening now is I've gave a sample uh, this morning and that's a sample they use for fertilizing eggs 
and Stacey was prepped for theatre and that's her just went into theatre now and while she's in theatre I had a chance to get a bite to eat and I'm walking back to the unit now and Stacey will probably be out in about half an hour to 45 minutes so I'm just pretty much going to be milling around the hospital until Stacey gets out and then we'll see what happens then <laughs> just in the recovery now and once Stacey's finished her toast and coffee and got all her stuff out we'll head back home okay guys so after the recovery period the doctor came in and spoke to us so 27 eggs were collected so what will happen now is those eggs will be fertilized overnight tonight and then those embryos will continue to grow for another five days outside of the body so after five days is when they sometimes put the eggs back in. In this case, because Stacey produced so many eggs, the egg cut off is about 20. Uh, what they're going to do is they're going to freeze those embryos at five days and then put them in in about three months. And that is just to give Stacey a recovery period and uh, allow the hormones in our body to settle down before implanting the embryo and all our hormones changing again. So I'm just walking to the car then now. I'm gonna go get the car, then drive to the front of the hospital to pick Stacy up at the front doors. Well, that is us on our way home. Um, I'm feeling a little bit sore and tired, obviously. Um, they said that I had a little bit of hyperstimulation so that's why our embryos are going to be frozen for a couple of months um, and then we have the choice whether or not to do a natural transfer or a medicated transfer but that's a little more complicated to describe um, they did say that my memory is going to be a bit funny over the next day which is understandable because I forgot to get paracetamol in the shop <laughs> and I'm not allowed to take ibuprofen but I'll double check anyway they just said that I wasn't allowed to take ibuprofen if they were going to do a transfer this week which they're not so I'll give them a phone later on um, but apart from that it all went well the woman who did the sedation said that she'd never seen somebody take it that fast <laughs> And I just kind of passed out. <laughs> but it was a good sleep. So. Hi guys. So what's happened since then is basically the eggs were fertilised overnight. 19 of the 27 eggs successfully fertilised. And then those eggs were allowed to grow. And on the fifth day there was embryos which were eligible to be frozen and they had a few more they wanted to see and of those few more the next day another four were eligible to be frozen so uh, we went from 19 fertilized to 12 viable embryos and five of them embryos achieved the highest grade that they possibly could so now it's just a waiting game for three months and then one of those embryos will be selected and will be a uh, re-implanted and what we're thinking is we will try a natural transfer first and then we'll try a medicated transfer if that doesn't stick anyway guys if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button leave us a comment and don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already anyway guys that'll do